Well, how y'all doing? It's Colin Daniel here from RiffNinja.com. And today I'm answering questions for my students. And this question came from Graham. And his question was, what are the benefits of using a pick versus fingers versus thumb picks versus finger picks, blah, blah, blah. Wow. I could probably write a book on that. Some of it's personal preference. Uh, some of it has to do with what tone you want to get. All I can do is answer why I answer your question to why I do what I do. And then that'll probably help you make a decision. Let's start with a long time ago when I was first learning the guitar. I had this folk class. And the teacher liked folk music. And if you take a look at my nails, right now there's a disadvantage to having nails. Because this nail here, which I use a lot, broke. And it's growing back. So this nail is longer, and so is this nail. This nail is the longest. So you constantly have to file them and fiddle with them. And then when you break them, uh, it can suck because now I have, I'm having a harder time getting consistency out of my strings when I pluck them. So what I'm saying to you is um, nails can be a downfall. The good thing about nails is they're brighter, especially on an electric guitar where... I like to be able to control my dynamics, you know, and of course I'm using a pick for the bass note. I could use just a, th that's the way I was originally taught was to play with my thumb, you know, and I never used my pinky, but nowadays, um, in the last 10 years, 15 let's say, I uh, after watching all of my favorite guitar players, I, I noticed that they were using like a pick and at least one or two fingers. Eddie Van Halen, when he plays guitar, he actually holds the pick with his second finger and uses this finger to tap like this. So he picks, you know, and then when he wants to tap, he has to make an easy transition. Back in the day when I was learning to play, there was no media stuff like there is today on the internet. So when my student first brought Eruption in, and I went, what the heck's that? I've never heard a guitar player do that before. I thought he was doing it with the edge of the pick. But then there's an issue of changing strings with the edge of the pick, so you end up, your pick catches the other strings that you don't want to sound out. Whereas with the finger, you can cross strings quite easily because the finger's very accurate, right? So you see, um, Everybody has their reasons for doing what they do in a different way. I would say that the pick has great leverage, like for speed. There's no way you're going to get fingers to play with the speed the pick can because it's a mechanical. It's definitely, and I especially love a heavy pick when I'm playing single note solo lines. And I can get uh, things like pinch harmonics, which I just did. with a pick, right? Uh, be much more difficult to try and accomplish that with your fingers, right? With the pick, I can get really aggressive. The other cool thing about a pick is you've got this down up stroke thing going, which is really definitely increases the amount of speed you play a note. So if you're a, a shredder, uh, and I like to dig in, I get a lot of dynamics from a pick. I can play really soft and smooth, you know. Or I can play really hard and dig in. And both are, you know, so I've got all the in-betweens, right? It's also great for strumming. Um, some people have a hard time getting a smooth sound strumming with a pick I don't have any problem it has to do with the angle because there's players that use different angles to the picks so you know the angle of the pick has something to do with it the way your hand sits um, 
So I figure, uh, in my case, the pick's a great advantage. Um, but I've watched a lot of great players that don't use a pick or some that use both pick. And I watched Warren Haynes in one of his concerts, and he tucks his pick uh, underneath his, one of his fingers, and then he plucks with his thumb and his first finger. Now, I can play with my fingers, too, as you can see. Um, I could drop the pick completely. And you can get the two alternating things. And you can get almost as fast as a pick, but the, the thing about the flesh of your fingers is it's softer. It has a different attack than me going. You can hear it. Definitely more brightness in the pick. I say your best bet is to play hybrid. Um, because I'll do certain passages with a pick and certain ones with my uh, second, third, and fourth fingers. Here in this movement, I'm playing the pick for the bass notes and arpeggiating the second, third, or third, uh, second, and first strings with my second, third, and fourth fingers. So. I could pick it all, you know, but it sounds different again, right? Uh, there's certain benefits to having your fingers down here that it's much easier to reach the strings. You're not doing as much of a hand movement as you would if, you know, as with the pick, right? You'd have to move across, jump strings and cross strings, whereas this way you don't have to do that. Your fingers are already laying on top of the strings you need for the, for, the, for the pattern, right? So those are some of the benefits and pluses and minuses of uh, different ways of playing. I know the thumb is, can be used as a strum. I, uh, in Latin music, a lot of the Latin and flamenco players will use the thumb and their first finger, the thumb for the downstroke on a strum and the first finger for the upstroke. You know? Use all four fingers in some cases. To me, I use whatever I need to get a certain sound uh, that I'm producing, a certain texture. I think it's beneficial to learn a little bit of everything, but uh, depending on the time you've got and what your goal is and the style of music you play, you might want to reconsider some things that you're doing. I wish I'd have played my hybrid picking uh, from the day I started playing because that's really the best for me. You know, rather than having to always switch, you know, have the pick in my mouth, do this, and then when I need to pick, you know, for the strumming. So, yeah. I think the hybrid style is probably the best way to go. If you can't grow nails and use the uh, flesh of your fingers, if you can't do that, there's always finger picks. I don't like finger picks because they've always pinched my fingers. Some guys heat them up. Watch out when you heat them up. They usually use a lighter uh, to heat them up and bend them. But watch out when you do that because uh, um, you can have some serious fire problem there. Uh, some of those picks, depending on the uh, type of material they're made of, are ignite very fast, like they're very flammable. And if you're holding it in your hand and you, let, and you put the, the torch to it, the, the Bic lighter to it, and you bend it a little bit and it gets a little too hot, it can ignite. It can burn your fingers. You can drop the burning plastic onto the floor. And if you've got carpet on the floor or wood, it could set your whole place on fire. So you've got to be careful with stuff like that. But they do heat them up and bend them. But I never liked them even after I experimented with bending. But that's not to say it's not good for you. You have to experiment and try and find what it is that you want. Check out some of your favorite guitar players. See what they do. And uh, hopefully this has given you some insight. Say, uh, don't forget uh, to subscribe. And uh, check out my site, riffninja.com, if you want some really serious lessons. Um, there's a three-day free trial. Uh, I dare you to take the challenge. Uh, I think uh, you'll never look back. My whole uh, reason for doing this is uh, 
uh, to reach more people. I've already taught a lot of people in my uh, career, but I'd like to help more, and maybe you're one of them uh, that I'd like to help. So yeah, don't forget, uh, check out the site, riffninja.com, and uh, thanks for your time, and I hope I've helped you and given you some insight. We'll see you soon. Take care.